what are the latest megatrends in the mobile and 5G industry? And what are the most compelling use cases? But also, how will these trends impact both the business and the consumer markets? Daisy Tsu, she's the vice president of wireless marketing at Huawei. She's a seasoned 5G and mobile veteran, and she will update us about all the latest 5G and mobile trends. Welcome, Daisy. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, you were already involved in 5G before it was even called 5G. So what are the most significant changes from 5G that you have seen over the past time? And can you share also your experience about its impact on both the business and the consumer markets? Okay. Actually, uh, the first uh, 5G commercial network uh, on air is 2019. And after two and uh, almost two and a half years, we already see that the 5G uh, slightly uh, changed the societies. And for example, for the com consumer market, especially when you look at the uh, Korean market or the Chinese market or the uh, or Middle East already have a nationwide coverage, 5G coverage, we see that uh, the, the so-called mobile internet service already upgrade to new level especially when it comes to high definition videos high definition like like uh, short clips and also augmented reality virtual reality especially in career market accounts for like one third of the 5g subscribers so uh, as compared to the 5G uh, service to fourth, uh, fourth generation, uh, or we say the LTE service, the, the fundamental change is that the, uh, the experience experience getting more better. The, the waiting time gets shorter and the definition gets more you know, uh, high definition. So uh, some new service, as we expect, the AR and VR already got, get the momentum. And this is for the consumer market. Uh, for the industry, vertical industry in China, especially in Chinese market, we already see something happen. Uh, right now, there is about uh, 10,000 projects for vertical industry using 5G already down. And the contracts are being signed between the operators and the verticals, uh, mobile operators, verticals, around 2,000 contracts hit like billions contracts number. And uh, the uh, vertical service already deployed 5G includes like uh, mining industries, smart port, and also the uh, steel industry and also some manufacturers using this to replace the traditional, you know, you know, the wired solution or the traditional Wi-Fi because 5G offer much, much better experience. And combining with the cloud technologies and artificial intelligence, uh, lots of industry, vertical industry already enjoy the efficient efficiency improvement using 5G. That's what I see currently. A great journey of all these advancements. And we are already at the 12th global MBBF, the Mobile Broadband Forum. And this will be held this year in Dubai. So why is the MBBF such an important event for the wireless industry? Okay. Uh, actually, the first uh, first uh, mobile broadband forum start with the start start with the LTE in 2010. That times everybody wanna uh, share more knowledge across different industry, across uh, different you know continent continent. Uh, that times the the operators from Europe, or, uh, operators from Asia, and also Africa and the Middle East, they come together using uh, over this platform to discuss the needs of LTEs and the requirements on the network. And as vendor like uh, Huawei, we just hear their voice, try to understand their requirements, and make our solution better serving their requirements. And uh, this is how we start from uh, start mobile broadband forum, and uh, mobile broadband forum also witnessed the uh, prosperity of a fifth generation. We use this mobile broadband forum to you know to as a platform to communicate uh, to understand not only the telecom industry but also the vertical industry because as I said before. Uh, the mobile internet, uh, the mobile network is not just for the consumer mar market, but also the vertical industry. But previously, we barely know the understand the requirements of vertical industries. So this mobile broadband forum provide the perfect platform uh, to communicate cr communicate across different industries. And uh, this time, we 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 
just have this mobile broadband forum in Dubai because, you know, last time our mobile broadband forum uh, was held in Shanghai, in China, just because of the COVID-19, we cannot go abroad. But previously, we held our our mobile broadband, broadband forum in different cities like London, like like uh, also the Rome and the Canada and also uh, Switzerland. We have a uh, lots of... Uh, uh, lots of uh, you know place to help this and uh, but last year as i said because the covid 19 we cannot go abroad so we stay in china that's good one but this time i uh, we our team thought that no this is not mobile broadband mobile broadband for is not for chinese market but also for the abroad for the overseas market so we just determined to uh, held this this time uh, in Dubai, even though we came across a lot of difficulties, uh, a lot of you know uh, inconvenience because still we uh, the COVID nineteen you know bring a lots of restrictions. So, but we 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 want to share lots of things. We have so much to offer because we have uh, innovation. We have a lot of ideas how to de deploy five G and how five G gonna be successful we have a lot of knowledge and to share and so much to offer that's why we held this in dubai and dubai somehow the restriction is uh for the covid 19 relatively friendly yeah. yeah you were talking about all these innovations and there will be many announcements on mbbf can you reveal already some of the highlights in advance okay uh, actually uh before uh, have, have, having said that, the, the 5G already deployed for two years. For two years, we already announced a full series, series of a 5G base station and uh, for different application scenario, for different installation scenario. Uh, but this time, uh, uh, the, the industry also has some of the new requirements. For example, everybody is talking about the green. We have to consider um, much more about the green, how to make our base station more consumer consume less and less uh, power consumption. So this time we will bring the new product which combine the performance and leverage the performance and the, and the, and the, and always say the, the green, this kind of a new solution and product we're going to announce over this mobile broadband forum. And uh, the other thing is that they will also bring the intelligence to our uh, the new network because the intelligence have helped to improve. Uh, currently, you know, each operator runs different system network at the same time. They run 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G uh, in parallels. And this is the right time to introduce the artificial intelligence to uh, make the best efficiency of running so many uh, systems at the same time. So uh, artificial intelligence solution also going to be uh, announced over this mobile broadband forum. We have a lot of things, a lot of things. So wait, wait to see that in Dubai. Yeah. Thanks, Daisy. I really look forward to attending MBBF on October 13th and 14th and learning about all the latest 5G and mobile developments. And of course, we invite everybody to attend as well. Thank you. And for the audience, thank you for watching. And we look forward to seeing you next time. See you in Dubai. See you in Dubai.